Hey guys, Bathy here. Today I'm playing a game called Everspace. Um, I'd probably compare it to kind of like a mix between um, Rogue Legacy, uh, FTL, and what's the other one I was going to say? Freelancer, that's right. Uh, Freelancer was actually a game I played a lot of as a kid, but I'm not going to go into that right now. I could probably talk about a lot of these old games I used to play forever. Basically, it's kind of got the same kind of system as Rogue Legacy, where you play through until you die, and you can spend any money you get during that mission to basically upgrade like your pilot or your ship. This game's currently in early access, just want to point that out, so if you've watched this video later down the road, uh, it'll probably be different than what it'll be like in this video. Uh, currently, there's only three different ships. We got the medium, a light, and a heavy. I only actually have the medium right now. That's the starter default ship. So basically you pick your ship, uh, you get starting equipment, they've got stats, etc. And you kind of have to go through the same kind of sector system that uh, Faster Than Light has. Actually got like stats and stuff here, so I can get some bonus money if I do uh, objectives. But uh, I got a few upgrades, but we're not going to worry too much about that right now. If I do play this game some more and do videos on it, then uh, I could go more into depth uh, if I wanted to. But I've put most of my money into basically getting more money. And uh, the next runs. So down here you can see this is my seventh interceptor. So I have done six runs where I've died. I don't know I, if it's like FTL. There actually was a boss, and you could win in that game. I don't know if you can win in this game. So we'll see. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Uh, I've actually been playing on hard. You get more credits, but basically everything is harder, and there's less like friendly stuff like that. So I think we'll just play on normal this time. So I don't quite die so quickly. Hopefully. And let's see how it goes. So, it's a six degree movement kind of game. So you can go forward, you can go backwards, I can go up and down, left and right. You can pretty much move in any direction that I want to. And you basically spawn in, and I'm already getting shot at. Let me uh, take care of this guy real quick. This gun is really good at taking down shields, and I'm gonna switch to a little Gatling gun here take out that ship. So there are like a little bit of a, like a crafting system and stuff you can do in this game so you can pick up various uh, components like plasma, scrap, etc. But in most of these levels uh, I don't really have that great of a scanner so I kinda have to fly around and see if I can see any like landmarks or whatever when I uh, spawn into a new area. Looks like there's something over here. This is like a mining kind of group and they've got like defense ships usually. I can attack them, but that'll piss them off for this system and the next system. So, I don't know. I might mess, I might mess with them. We'll see. See if I can find anything else interesting here. Ooh, there's a better gun here. Upgraded Gatling gun. Um, it doesn't really seem to be that much better. It just has a critical hit chance mod on it, but that's fine. We'll take it, salvage my old one for parts. Uh, to pick up the scrap from this turret I killed. Anything else interesting here? It doesn't really look like it. So, didn't really get to see a whole lot in this system that I spawned in. Once I'm basically done here, what I can do is I can uh, just basically look at this jump drive location and I'll go to the next sector. But it looks like there's an outlaw here. I'm gonna go out here and kill this outlaw real quick. What? I picked up a coil gun apparently. And this thing is a plus plus plus. That means it's really upgraded. So while I'm flying around trying to figure out what I want to do, uh, let me kind of talk about the things on the UI here for a little bit. So the top right is my fuel. I don't actually know what happens if you run out of fuel. I assume bad things. If it's like anything like FTL, uh, it's usually quite bad. Uh, at the top left, we've got my shield and hull. Uh, under that is how many nanobots I have, which you can use to repair. And what the heck? Some baddies just spawned in somewhere. There they are. So these are like hostile alien kind of guys. I'm trying to like kind of use cover here so they can't all shoot me. Oh, I thought I got the shields down all the way. Not quite. Alright, here we go. Kill these hostile aliens. And they actually got through my shields. Let me see if I can hide here. 
So what you see where my reticle is, I've got a little green bar. That's how much energy I have. And you use energy to boost and to uh, fire my guns. Oh, this actually does really good damage to this hole too. Might just end up using these like all the time. Problem is it uses a lot of energy, which I don't really have right now. So if I actually want to look up the stats on these things, there's basically an in-game menu where you can do certain things like crafting, etc. So I hit this button, I can see all of my primary weapons. I've actually upgraded this ship to hold three primary weapons. Uh, default is two. I've got some missiles, I've got shields on this thing. Uh, I can up make my weapons do more damage and stuff for a little bit. Uh, I've got some scanning probes, which I'll probably will use in the next area. And here you can repair components. Your components can actually get damaged. So your weapons will be less efficient and you can use some of these parts that you can collect while playing to basically repair them. Uh, you can repair hull, etc. I think all of these, yeah, take nanobots. And here's kind of the star map. If you've, if you've ever played a game like FTL, it looks kind of the same. Uh, this is like a smaller version of it. You kind of got different paths. I do have my sensors upgraded a little bit from playing uh, six times previously. So it gives me like a threat indicator for how dangerous these sectors are probably going to be. But, you know, we don't care if it's low risk. We want higher risk. That usually means higher rewards, right? Maybe. Maybe. So, um, I think... I don't know if there's really too much left to do here. I max some fuel. Kind of see if there's anything over here to harvest, like ore crystals or something. But I think I'm pretty much going to be done here. You kind of get, like, a set time limit, kind of like FTL, where the ships... There's basically people chasing you. And the longer you kind of sit around and delay... Uh, the faster they catch up to you. So if I delay here for too long, I think some ships will start to spawn in and attack me, like interceptors or something. And if you wait even longer, like a big, like, capital ship kind of thing will uh, spawn in and attack me. So definitely don't want that. Although I might actually do it at some point just to let you guys see what it looks like. Mine this ore here. I'm gonna shoot it. Fully mined. But don't really see much else to do here. I'm not sure I want to fly around too much. Rather just continue on. Let's get out of here. Go to the next system. But yeah, this game reminds me so much of like Freelancer, which I play quite a bit of uh, in my youth. That's actually one of those kind of games I'd be tempted to play and record one day. Although like it has like story missions in that game, and then you have to do a lot of like just getting money and stuff like that between story missions. Well, do so, something about it. Find what? it and disable it. The higher the disable signal strength, something. the closer you are. Don't be suppressed. Oh. Yeah, so something like Rogue Legacy and stuff, every bad. single time you play is slightly different. Your and it looks fire. like currently I cannot jump. So I'm gonna have to deal with that before I can leave this system. Whoa! I like collided with his debris. Oh. So I don't actually think my controls are the best setup that I possibly can do for this game. It's actually kind of hard to do the six degrees movement. Uh, using I'm basically using the keyboard. I do have boost bound to my mouse, but honestly, I kind of forget half the time. So I probably need to use like my Nostromo or something else. Cause it's really kind of hard flying like this. You know, being able to fly uh, in any direction I want to. Way too many keybinds because like you can rotate this way, up, down, left, right, etc. I gotta figure out a better way to do this. Is it over here? Is it, I'm actually going farther away from this suppression thing, but I want to see what's over here. It's like a little base. It's a loot. Not too worried about these turrets. I don't really do too much usually. The missile ones can do quite a bit sometimes. Someone's shooting at me. I seem to have upset this guy for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Time extender? I don't even know what that does. Alright. Oh, there's the jump suppressor. I assume I just... Oh, I have to hack it. Okay. I just fly right next to it. But yeah, I've actually been kind of enjoying this game. It was, uh... It was slightly on sale. And I mean, this is an early access game, so they're still going to be adding more and more stuff. I know they're going to be adding a lot more voice narration of the game. It's actually going to have VR support at one point. I do have a VR headset, but I haven't really done any videos for it yet. Um, 
I assume they'll be adding more ships. They said they're adding more structures and stuff like that to interact with or blow up, you know. Ah! Drones. I hate drones. But yeah, I think the game has a lot of potential. I like FTL is a game that I really like. Um, Rogue Legacy is another game that I really like. And then, you know, Freelancer was a game I liked. There's a lot of mining and space combat in that game. I do like my space games. You know, I'm not always playing like FTL, FPS kind of games. I play a lot of like RTS, a lot of like space, even like some simulation ones. Like I like playing Elite Dangerous sometimes, stuff like that. So it's a nice change of pace. I don't like to uh, always just kind of stick with the same thing. Let's see if there's anything over here. Oh, there's some crystals over here. And I like that it doesn't really like hold your hand really that much. You kind of gotta figure things out on your own a little bit. There's actually a little bit of depth to the uh, like ship combat and stuff. Uh, there's a container over here. Damage booster. I've actually got... What is the time extender? It slows down time. Wow. That's pretty awesome, actually. Um, I do have some scanning probes, which will let me scan a lot farther than just the passive scanners do. I've only got three of them. Um, I think I've probably already gotten most of the juicy stuff from here. There's probably like a couple cargo things somewhere and some stuff I could mine somewhere, but... I think for the most most part, I've probably got everything good here, so we're not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and jump again, and I'm, I'm just not sure, like if there's like an end, like if you can actually win. I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. So going to a medium risk. I've actually got here's all the different like uh, components I've gathered so far. Um, I found some dark matter in my last playthrough, uh, last night when I played. And it got me killed. We're just going to say that. So maybe if I can find some more again this time. I think I was in Sector 3 when that happened. I don't know. Ooh, there's a bunch of ores over here. We'll get the ore before we worry about those guys. There's like a little installation over there it looks like. But we're going to get these juicy resources first. Maybe we'll find like a trading ship or something. And he'll uh, give me something for these ores. Or I can use them to uh, upgrade my weapons. Like I can upgrade the damage or the range, stuff like that on my weapons. Using uh, certain components. Doesn't look like I can upgrade anything right now except for I can build more missiles. Woo. Looks like I can upgrade the vol velocity. What is the vol... Oh, okay. What I actually want is uh, like this one. So I need some plasma. So I can upgrade basically the damage on my pulse lasers, although I'm not using the pulse lasers right now. I'm actually using the coil guns, which they don't seem bad. I mean, this thing is pretty upgraded. It looks like it does just a lot of damage to pretty much anything, although it uses a lot of power. That's the main problem, is how much power it's pulling. Uh, these, uh, these do 73 shield damage, which is more than this, so this is probably not even actually worth it. Is kind of just a good all-arounder. I mean, it's pulling so much power because it's so upgraded, but it's not really helping me kill somebody much faster than just not using it at all. So let's actually stop using it. Actually, that's plasma right there. So if I want to get some plasma, what I'll do is I'll just fly into the cloud and kind of just like automatically gets it for me. Ooh, there's ships warping in right now. Leave me alone, and for some reason, I just noticed, there's no music. Where'd the music go? This game actually does have, like, some R8 music, you know, for, uh... I guess, is it kind of like an indie game? I think it kind of is like an indie game. I don't remember who the, uh, studio is that makes this game. Ah! But, for some reason right now, we just have absolutely no music. Ooh, some heavy missiles, but I don't think I'm gonna use those. I'm just gonna salvage them. There's some other stuff that got dropped somewhere. Well, I'm getting shot at. Where did these drones come from? Where'd you guys come from? 
I don't even know. Alright, scraps. And then I was going to get some plasma. Well, someone rudely interrupted me. Ah. So, get some plasma. I should be able to upgrade my pulse laser. More drones and stuff over there. And it looks like a drone is shooting me. I hate drones. They usually have like some sort of weird beam weapon that'll help uh, destroy my shields basically really quickly. Really annoying to play against, especially if like other things are shooting at me. I'm actually gonna just shoot a missile at him. Yeah, okay, good. So I assume I could like do a bunch of maneuvering, get behind people and stuff, although. They do a pretty good job of not letting you get behind them most of the time. Because they can also, uh... I'm actually gonna uh, swap this and salvage that. I actually kind of like the shock one. It's kind of cool. Resource transport. I could blow that up and steal the resources, but they'll be pissed off at me for a couple jumps. But we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna get this stuff. Mess with these uh, installations here. They probably got some goodies for me as well. Let's see, you got some crystals in here. This looks like that blow up. Blow up a bolt? I was gonna say blow up a bolt, that's not a word. It's totally a word. One new item can be crafted. Uh, there's some more crystals over there. Go get those. Try to not run into anything. There you go. I've played a lot of games that kind of have the same kind of movement like this before. So I know I definitely shouldn't be using controls like this. Like, if anything, I probably should be using like a joystick, but the game just seems like it's kind of set up for a mouse with the way the reticle moves uh, in the middle of the screen. Not really built for a uh, joystick. Wow, that's a lot of feel. So I should be good on feel. A little bit more fuel right there. I think I actually have a mission to kill floodlights. Although this station is like completely blown up. I'm surprised there's a floodlight that's even still lit. You know, but I'm not going to question it. Nano injector. Instantly repairs a certain amount of whole hit points. The exact amount depends on the ship's nanobot efficiency. Interesting. Um, I think I'm just going to salvage it though. I kind of like having the damage booster if I run into like a big ship that I need to kill because I have ran into big ships attacking me in the past. Let's see, anything else interesting over here? Just more fuel? Yeah, more fuel. I'm pretty much going to be full after this. Is this also fuel? Oh my god, there's so much fuel. So yeah, I am now full. Uh, is there anything else of interest here? There's probably something over here. Is that more fuel? Alright, that's a little ridiculous. I don't need all this fuel. Surely there's like some loot in here. Ow! I actually took hole damage there. I'm not being careful. It's really easy just to uh, mess yourself up in this game. So, XC Mark II. So, it's a smaller shield, but it recharges really quickly. I think we're actually going to use that. Why not? Gotta try out new things, right? And a container here. Some money. From these containers. Really random what you acquire? Well, I mean, yeah. It's a rogue-like game. Everything is going to be super random. Probably just a completely random dice roll. So there was something else I could harvest somewhere before we left this place. I don't remember what it was. And you know, if, if you're more interested in ship combat, I mean, I can pretty sure you could just like jump from system to system, blow up anybody and just leave. You don't have to like scavenge kind of like what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of doing it to do it, you know? You gotta feel like I'm being like efficient, not missing things every time I go somewhere. But I mean, at the same time, I'm not sure how much it really matters. I don't know if there's like a boss fight at the end or whatever, kind of like FTL, you know, you want to get as many resources and stuff as possible every jump or else you might not uh, have everything you need to win. So I don't know if that's how it works, but you know what, let's get out of here. Keep going. Let's see if we can, uh... oh, see the interceptors were about to jump in. 
and come try and take me out. So we're at the end of sector one here. We're going to jump in this system and there's going to be a jump gate here which will take me to the next system. I just got to basically fly in the middle of that and sit there for not for very long. Let's come over here, kill these uh, outlaws. Nobody likes outlaws. That was easy enough. I'm actually going to use the shock rifle, which basically is like a charge up gun, kind of like a pulse cannon, and it does a lot of damage. But as you can see, I used a lot of resources or energy there doing that. And energy. Oh, he has dark matter. So energy, it does recharge after a while, but it charges faster if I sit still, which, you know, it's usually not a good thing. It looks like there's a traitor over there and he's getting attacked by outlaws. I can go over there and save him, but I'm going to get this ore first. I'm not in any rush. I'm pretty sure that he will be A-OK -okay without my help. Like It looks like he's having not really much trouble taking them out. Silly outlaws trying to take on a large ship by themselves. I'm gonna snipe that kill there. I don't know if it matters if I get the final shot or not. So if I want to trade with this guy, I can fly up here. There's a little icon here. And we can see what he's got for sale. So he's got some missiles, some crystals, some gel, and some ore. I think I'm gonna buy his crystals. I know I don't think I need ore at all. Like I'll get plenty of that. So more than likely I should be able to, oh, it's an equipment transport there. I should be able to upgrade something at this point. I probably want to upgrade my pulse laser and we could put three damage mods on it. That's quite a bit. So 10% damage increase makes it use a little bit more energy. That's fine. We're going to do a couple of those, I think. Then maybe we'll put one on this one. I don't really want a shield damage mod, as I'm not really using Gatling guns to do shield damage. So maybe, maybe upgrade my shield so it has more hit points. I think that's probably a good idea. Let's do that, and should be good for now. Let's actually use our scanning probe. I haven't used any yet. I'll do a quick little scan. Now I can see that there's some stuff over there, stuff over there. There's actually, a tech container right here. I probably wouldn't even have noticed this. It's just floating out here in the middle of nowhere. What is this? Weapon overdrive. I actually have one of those. This is a better one, though. Uses more energy, lower cooldown. Sure, why not? Salvage my old one. Uh, that's just the traitor over there. Uh, oh, they're actually getting attacked by this outlaw. Well, I was going to help them kill it. Do they actually pick up the credits? Oh, it looks like they're just going to stay laying there. I'm going to steal those credits from those guys. Kind of rude of me. Let's head over here. Mine this stuff, get these crystals, etc. And we can jump to the next system. I guess I'm going to have to call it there. And we'll just end up doing like the playthrough for this, I suppose. Because this has already taken like 20 minutes. Longer than I was expecting, actually. Let's grab that. I just... I don't know, I'm not really getting attacked by a lot of people this time. Sometimes I just like get overwhelmed by ships. Like four ships will basically jump me and a little ridiculous. Uh, I don't think we really need that. We don't care about boosting, etc. Hit these. So yeah, I think we're gonna jump to the next system and call it there. There's some plasma and containers over here, we'll grab those real quick. Anything else interesting out here? It doesn't look like anything else interesting out here. And yeah, I've actually really been enjoying this game. I think, I mean, I haven't been getting far enough really to see how much things change, but uh, when I was playing on hard, it definitely uh, felt pretty challenging. If I got jumped by like three ships, I pretty much was going to be dead unless I really had like good cover or something like that. I think it felt pretty dangerous. I have to boost around that there right? real quick. Mainframe override. Overrides the target ship control unit and makes them fight on your side. Wow, that's kind of cool actually. I might actually take that over. Well, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use it. I still really like having the weapon overdrive even though I haven't been using it. 
I don't really need to do that yet. So let's see what we got here. Beam laser, energy core extension. Increases your energy's core capacity. Yeah. Seems kind of meh. Honestly. Don't care about a beam laser. So I think we're done here. Let's go to the jump gate. After I grab this plasma. And we'll call it there, guys. We're actually doing pretty well. We're we'll have to see how far I can get. Maybe I'll see some cool stuff that I actually haven't seen before. I do know that uh, last playthrough I got killed by something I had definitely never seen before. And I was slightly salty about that, so... I don't know, maybe it'll happen again. I'll end up being salty for whatever reason. But here we go. Jump into the next sector. Here we are. Welcome to Sector 2. I think when I got to Sector 3, there was like lightning shooting around everywhere, zapping me continuously. So we're going to call it there. We can just save and quit. Come back to it if we want to. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time.